fantasy yeah, football. Yeah, that's for you, Harmon. That's incredible. <laughs> it's amazing. The energy, the adrenaline that gets into your blood. How do you do that? I, well, I was, uh, before I did this job, I was actually the lead singer of Striper. Oh, wow. Not, no, not true. That's not, it's not true. <laughs> but I, you were it, born during that there, decade. Yes. There's been a couple of weeks where uh, his voice is not uh, capable, <laughs> and so I've, I'm on deck, and Ooh. you don't want to, you Ooh. do not want to see it. You're, you're like the, you're like Caleb Haney, you know, the backup quarterback for the Bears that everybody right. kind of liked, but then he actually played, and it's like, oh, God, there's I'm this, not ready for this. You don't get this, potential fantasy points. Dang it. It's a great gift. Where you know the Jean Claude Van Damme scene uh, oh, from Bloodsport, Blood Sport, where he's like, I have no idea. Yeah. And that's no, because we we know he's not Harman a movie doesn't guy. Doesn't see movies. I've well, seen like I've never seen that movie either. Regardless, so, the gift go. the gift is still uh, still tremendous uh, of my my terrible scream with that picture. <laughs> now I kind of want to hear that. Yeah, sometimes. You'll, you'll yeah, we'll, we'll show it to you. Uh, oh, welcome perfect. to the show. After the show, Matt Harmon is here from NFL.com. Reception Perception. We're thrilled to have him in here. He just did a podcast with us, and he's sticking around for the show after the show. He's in the middle of a, uh, a voyage across See the country. See America. See America, too. Camping out. Saw some Twitter pictures come across under the uh, – it looked like you were in the desert up there. I have been in quite a few deserts. <laughs> is it hot at night right now? Uh, well, the thing about the desert is that it can be – go from freakishly hot during the day to, oh, wow, it got really cold. Uh, so the, the second – I don't know. I've completely. I don't know what day it is. I've completely <laughs> you don't know where lost. No, I don't even know where I am. That is for sure. Uh, but one, though, I stayed in New Mexico before I got into Arizona, and that was like peak, crazy hot during the day, and then like it thunderstormed the night before, <laughs> and like during the night, and like the tent is shaking. And by the way, this is my first camping hot take. Uh, like I am so frustrated seeing all these RVs out there. You're you're cheating. Thank you. You're cheating. That's how this guy wants to camp. I'll bet. <laughs> oh well, you, you know, you guys know Jim Gaffigan, the comedian. I yes. think one of his uh, one of my favorite jokes of his is like, you know, when you're camping, you bring the RV. It's like, oh yeah, that's what I forgot. My house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, here's my my one thought on that. Because first of all, if it's just me, I think it's a little different. But I'm thinking about these camping trips when I bring the kids. You know, we do these during the summer with our church sometimes, and. I just it's so much work See, to get it set up and taken down for a one day trip. That's when I'd like to have like a little trailer camper that I do a pop up. You know, I have gotten that a lot because I, I did tweet this take a couple nights ago, which is always really funny because then somebody responded like, yeah, you're, you're tweeting during a camping trip. You're cheating. too." <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a good point. Uh, but I've gotten a lot of that. Like a couple dads responded to me like. Nah, man. Like when we bring kids, like we need an RV, and I'm like, nah, you gotta toughen your kids up, man. Yeah, you, you think go. you think my dog has been happy about this trip? No, but I look him in the eye every day. I'm like, you're doing this. This <laughs> yeah. is good for you. Gonna be a good the, la the last time I took yeah, the right. kids, the kids, the kids camping, we had the middle of the night. I think there's a spider in here adventure. Oh no! And that went real well. Because right. there was just no way to prove that there was not a spider in that <laughs> camping trip. Uh, so let's go best camping story here. Uh, you want? Oh, oh, you want me to kick it off? Open All right. It. All right, I'll open it. I was a I was a wee lad. I was a child uh, camping with uh, my my good neighbors across the street. We would go out camping all the time, and so we're sitting around a campfire late at night. I think I was like I don't know seven, eight, nine, somewhere around there. Not not nine. I was like seven, and we're sitting around the campfire. And my dad and the other dad they locked eyes, and they both immediately spoke to each other this terrible. This terrible idea, and they knew they knew what they were doing. Um, and as a joke, all of a sudden, we're out there, and there there, there was a, a a cabin on on this one. And my dad screams, "Bear, grab the kids!" And the other dad comes and scoops me up, and everybody's like screech screeching into the can. You know, we're just like sprinting as fast as we can, trying to get in the cabin. Bear, bear, save the kids! And there was no bear. This was all just a, a practical oh. joke. Oh, wow. And the best part about the story is I peed the bed that night. Oh. <laughs> of course you did. Oh. I was a seven year old scared what, of the bear. And that is why you changed your age from nine to seven. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, story, I, was I was 14. I was three. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this was last week. <laughs> you should have peed your dad's bed. Uh, <laughs> retaliation. That's no, right. I think this is why I love practical jokes now. Oh. I got no problem that dishing it out. horrifying. Yeah. Sorry, my kids. I would never kids. do that to my kids. All right. That's pretty brutal. Mike, you got one? Uh, I, I do not. I do not have a best camping story. If you uh, know my father at all, you would know that he is not the outdoors type. 
<laughs> Your dad so is not. So we didn't do the camping trip uh, growing up. The the one thing I can share that's maybe remotely type of camping, which is, sums up how I feel about the great outdoors, uh, was visiting the grandparents. This was up in Minnesota. So they had a – it was a cabin out in the in the wilderness, in the woods. I mean, but you're still in a, a house and everything. Right. But I go running up the driveway. All of a sudden, uh, a giant horse fly – Finds its way into my mouth, <laughs> and uh, a horse fly. Okay, oh, those things are. Those, giant. That's that's not a fly. That's a like yeah. A quarter. It's, it's a rodent, basically, yeah, right. and it proceeds to die on my tongue. Which, I, if, so if you want to shoot, kill a fly, spray it with your saliva. Apparently, but so I'm picking this thing <laughs> off, and it is piecing. It's not. It's not. Oh, no. It's not one solid. Like, up, oh, we're done. It was okay. I got it out. Like, oh, here's a wing. Here's a leg. Like a pot, like you're eating, sorry, you're eating, like you're eating popcorn and like yes, it kernels yes, out like the a couple hours later. The horse fly were stuck in my teeth. <laughs> oh, that's so awful. It, it this scarred, is what camping is to it's, you now. Well, it scarred me for life, so I'm just, <laughs> I've never been a camper. I mean, say, my, my idea of camping is, uh, if you're familiar with, well, of course, Harmon will not be with the Goofy movie cartoon. There's a scene. No, no, no. I've oh, there we go. It's Animated with, movies don't count. When uh, when Pete shows up, because Goofy's camping with his son, and then Pete rolls up with an RV, yes. cuts down all the trees, puts his pool down, his jacuzzi. He's got the bowling alley up on the roof. Sounds nice. That's how I'll camp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when, when my wife took the kids camping, I was out of town. I think it was like our last trip that we took to FSTA or something. This is why I like the variable of being a dad far away when your kids are going camping. They were out in the woods, and... They went on like a hike, but then they went off trail a little bit. And the entire group of, of moms and kids was attacked by a swarm of wasps. Oh, and there were literally oh, it some was, of the some of the kids got it was not basically good. the situation that Jason described, but with actual danger. <laughs> and they were grabbing kids and holding them up and running through the woods while the beat you know, they're getting stung and oh. everything. Oh no. I'm oh, like no. And so I told her when she goes, you know, because we're going out of town again, I go, if you go camping. You better take care of the variables. Scare me at that point. Keep them safe. I stay say, on trail. I can have more kids. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm not particularly attached to any of these. <laughs> take the child. Leave me. <laughs> yes. So, so Matt, are you writing a book now? Camping tips from Matt Harmon. Is this well, I'm I'm like kind of in progress of writing like ten books. All right, <laughs> and only one of them I'm actually I'm actually writing, but there's other ones. <laughs> any of the Tim camping head. related. Yeah, well, you know, I should. Well, or the I, adventure. I should just write a story about this, or at least you know. But I probably won't. I got too much other things to do. But no, I, I should. Um, but two camping stories from this right. from this particular trip that I'll, I'll get into one, one somewhat serious and one funny. And I'll go with the, I'll go with the serious one first. Uh, this was in when I was in New Mexico, and just incredible like the the sunset and like watching it this just the openness of it is insane out there like actually being in the desert and being able to see for you know miles and miles was just incredible and i took a couple of good pictures and i'll i'll post eventually like in a big album but also like i already posted one on instagram like you could see the bright like s like just sunny sky over here and then like a storm rolling in over oh, here and it was ooh. like I mean, this is the way my brain works. You're getting a little too much insight into into me right now. But, like, I was like, this is almost so, like, the battle of good and evil. Mm -hmm. You know, like, the darkness and the light. It was, just, And then the sunset, like, just sitting there at the top of the campsite on a little hill watching it with Charlie. I was like, this is cool. And I was like, Very and nice. that was that was definitely one of those moments where I was like, do I really need to go back? I, like, almost sent in, like, a video resignation to NFL.com. <laughs> like, I'm never coming back. <laughs> and, but then the evil won because the storm came and took over. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that is the pessimistic part of the story. That's how Mike is <laughs> really bringing it home there. Cool, Mike. Mike. So let me lift up with a little bit of a funnier story. <laughs> so this that was He's a big Mordor fan. <laughs> He's yeah, really he loves huge the Mordor eye. guy. Sauron, yeah, Sauron Sauron for president 2016. <laughs> That's terrific. Um so then on the so that was that was obviously on the way here, but on the way to Virginia, I stayed in Palo Duro Canyon in Texas, which it was that was that was another spot that was really good too. Um and that one of all the campsites I've been in, that's the one where you like really in the wilderness. Like there's, you know, there's definitely some campsite stuff around there, but like where you're staying, there's like animals and like I woke up the next morning, there's like paw prints all over my car. I was like, oh man, we had some, wow. visit we had some visitors here, but I, we, we got actually woken up by a wild turkey. Wow. Yeah. Like literally right outside, goblin right outside <laughs> our tent. 
<laughs> but the best part of this story is that, like, you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, you know my dog. You know, he's like 30. You guys just met him. Yeah. Real celebrity sighting, by the way. You're yeah. one of the oh, few yeah. people on football Twitter who's now actually met Charlie in real life. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's a honor. honor. Take that seriously. Yeah. Um, but so, you know, you guys are like, a little tiny guy. He's like kind of bucking at this Ooh. turkey and i was like dude you have you will that thing will mess you up because I, I mean wild turkeys are big they're mean they've just got yes. that look like a look that's look in their eye like nah dude you, we I, i'm I imagine not messing around with the size of charlie like this was one of the few possible wildlife items he's like i'm gonna defend matt's honor here i'm gonna protect <laughs> Yeah, my guy, and good when he saw the turkey, but that's not a good. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, I was I've like, heard the turkeys that. are really mean. Yeah, they're I, they're they're jerks. I heard they were delicious. They oh. are tasty and <laughs> and good for you. So did yeah. did you have a Thanksgiving then? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I would have been having like a you know a, a, a dog Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, he would have uh, lost that fight. Let yeah, me tell no you. Good. Oh, that that was good. That was a lot of fun. So. uh Good stuff. Subscribe on YouTube. Thanks again, Matt, for joining us. My pleasure. And uh, Matt Harmon underscore BYB. Yeah, you can, you can follow hey, me. And make sure you uh, check the podcast out where Matt joins us. So take care. Anyway.